Do you think I have another 25 more books to go through? How about 100 and, uh, 125,000 more books? Hey, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. Everyone is welcome at the Cove, non-readers, bookworms, you know, but y'all, I hope I can convert you to being a reader and even better, a library user. So, libraries are magical. You go in, you proof who you are, where you live, they give you a card, and you take things out for free. I mean, I don't know y'all, why aren't you using the library? Okay, another 25, I think it's like 22, so I'll add some more. So this is just the book of myself, a do-it-yourself autobiography in um, 201 quotations. I really enjoyed this grade in elementary school. So you know what? I was thinking, well, you could keep it for paper. Y'all, I have enough paper. Seriously. So let's see. And most of these came out of my garage, because I'm doing that too. Um, let's see. Sundays is split, y'all. Doesn't that look good? Oh. Look at that, how cute. But you know what? I'm not really a Sunday kind of person. And I really don't like all fancy stuff, y'all. So it's gonna go, someone's gonna love that book. And not just a cheerful book. So we have, if the walls could talk, family life at the White House. So, you know, I don't know. This is one I would think I want to save for kids, but I'm going to let it go. It's the kind of thing, yeah. Now, this is a beautiful book. It is um, The Art of Audrey Niffinger. And, um, yeah. She just, she has very much like, um, not Howard Finster. I can't think of the guy, but her art is really interesting and I love this this color together I might look at this on my desk again but my curiosity about death love and the irrational the fleeting nature of everything it will never be satisfied yeah so I might just go ahead and go through that on my desk but I will let it go glamorous retreat y'all look how pretty that is um you know? So beautiful. And um, yeah, enjoyed it. But <gasps> Flagstaff, you guys. Look at that. I opened that right to Flagstaff. Interesting. Yeah. Becky and Bailey seem to be enjoying Arizona a lot. And I'm so happy. I'm just so grateful. Um, home, Brian Vataggio. He is, um, I think he won some kind of cooking show, but he's a local off, uh, restaurant tour, if you will. But you know what? I'm not like, I'm just not making any of this. So somebody else will love it. Waffles. I think I'll give this to Sue. I think I'll put this in, like, look at the end pages. Um, I'm gonna think about trying some pumpkin waffles. Okay, excuse me, where are the pictures? I love strawberry and cream like that on anything. So yeah, I'll put that back here for Sue. Nice book, but you know. Another patio daddy. From my last episode, y'all, I really love this book. See, and I didn't even know. I would be like, okay, I can have one just to have and then I'll cut up one. So chic, glamorous lives, stylist spaces. What is that? Now I love that color green chair. Isn't that beautiful? I, it's so funny that would never be my color before. But you change, right? And the stuff around you should change. So, you know, it's all these great designers and quote unquote influencers. So, I'm in many things, but chic, nah. That's not one of them. All right. Um, let me put this in here. Okay. 
so Broadway theater posters, you guys. What's hysterical about this is, um, you know, my supervisor does not like Broadway musicals, right? So, of course, I'll give it to her as a joke. Uh, let's see. Ah. Y'all, this is books are heavy. Okay. And I have the arthritic hands to prove it. All right. So this was stuff from my garage. So look at this. Isn't that cute, y'all? Is this a bad lighting? I don't know the sun is. So cool. It's like a little address thing or agenda. Isn't that cute? I'm, I, I'm just, I can't see myself using it. And, um, <coughs> you know what, to rip paper and stuff out of it, somebody's going to love this and I, I want them to have it. Somebody's going to buy that and love that. Comment, a complete book of home crafts. I love old craft books, you guys. Um, so I think I'll give this to the children's librarian and then, you know, if she doesn't want it, um, Let's see what year this is. 1974, you guys. Wonder what the just a kind of ugly thing. If she doesn't, I'll just donate it. So we have a truck that comes every now and then and picks up donated books and takes them to a big warehouse that then gets sold and makes money for um, library programs and stuff. So here is pencil drawing. Um, you know, just not my cup of tea, right? And I have plenty of drawing books. This is, I don't know what this is, y'all. Paris, 1973, and Is this like a magazine or something? Um, that's just, I guess that's a, an artist, y'all. Anyway, I did not connect with it, right? Somebody might. Um, it's all a little disturbing. And I like some disturbing, but that's like real disturbing. National Gallery of Art here in Washington, D.C. And these are um, like plates and stuff. You know, the quality is not the best. I might have taken a few out. I don't know if anyone wants it, but they might. This is um, 2005 Atlas. Now, I love atlases in my work wall, but this is just, um, the paper's more plasticky and it's not gonna take paint so much. So, let that go. Alberto Giacometti. Again, another artist that I'm not as drawn to. You see that? The lighting is terrible. Anyway, the quality is not that great. And, you know, I might pull out the front pages, maybe. We have a world of movies. Yeah, I don't get the blackface thing. I just did a Vaudevillian book. So I think, um, yeah, I can let that go. And this book is Book of Lies. Um, and really, it's just weirdo things that are lies. So, you know, Robin Hood, an old book. Um, look at those end pages, aren't they something? But not, you know, Robin Hood's nothing I'm going to read. It's not really inspiring me to want to use it as an altered book. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, do-it-yourself book. So this had, like, you could put in pages, answer things and stuff. So I thought, oh, well, I could use some of those pages. But you know what? Somebody's going to want it as it is. So I'm going to let that go. Y'all, my hands are killing me. Um, Marie Antoinette. Um, let's see what the cover looks like. That's the cover. Um, these books are usually so inexpensive. Right? Not any really good illustrations or anything in it. So I'm going to let that go again. I don't really resonate with Marie Antoinette. 
This is the Jewel in the Crown. This is like a really old copy of it. Um, by Paul Scott, 1966. So I'm not going to be reading it. But this is cool, isn't it? And I thought, well, you could alter it. But you know what? I'm not. I'm just not. Poems from uh, Chasers of the Light. Poems from the Typewriter series by Tyler Knott Gregson. I mean, I tell y'all, I have some really, is that cool colors? I really have some unusual. Um, let's see. I was amazed your lips found that your pulse, your eyes leave from me. I don't know. So it's kind of interesting, but you know, do I need it on my shelf for the day that, you know. Um, I don't think so. And then last is a little, I love these little books. I have tons of them. And some I'll keep because they're perfect to do little, make a little, like an altered book. But I don't know, this, you know, it's just quotes about weddings and pictures. Just not really my thing. Not very inspirational. Right? So. That's it, y'all. That's another 25. So we have 50 books from today. And I have a couple piles sorted out in my house. I think I have at least three more piles already ready to go. I just need to film them. But I was too busy watching about that man getting apprehended, get my stuff together to film. So I thought, you know what? This is a perfect thing to do at lunch. So I kind of ate earlier. And um, so I just need to kind of drink some water. And when I go back, there's only two more hours left. So that's good. But thank you, guys. Um, yeah, are you bookworms? I mean... I've been very fortunate and I have had many and I've had time and a lot of these books <clears throat> I tend to when I first get and they're like anyone from a dollar down you know I don't really like even the Goodwill you know I'm looking for bargains I'm not looking for to buy a five dollar book I'm just I'm not but um most of them are a dollar a lot of them are a quarter a lot of them are being thrown out um because recycled because when people don't want books you can't keep having them over and over again right um so yeah, so that's the story. And um, yeah, a lot of times when I first get them, I spend time with them. And then I always think, oh yeah, I'll go back. And I don't because there's more books I wanna look at. And it's the same with the library. Like today I had five books come in on hold. You know, I wanna spend time with them. I already have tons of books on uh, art, different art things I've gotten to look at. So there's a new book on Vermeer. I mean, there's just constantly new stuff. So. Yeah, I just really, I'm grateful in my heart that I'm ready to let go and share. And it's just a matter of physicality and my hands and the time and to get through it. And, um, but yeah, so I just did two right now. I've already done three or four from before. So um, yeah, I should kind of keep a, see how close I can get to 3,000. And then, yeah. So I'm just grabbing out of my garage. Um, Cause you know, I did not really go through the bookcases that are against the wall or makeshift bookcases. And um, cause they weren't really the problem. But what I'd like to do is go in there once, twice a week and pull off 25 books. Like I said, how many books on Tango do I need? You know, you forget what you have. I mean, Patio Daddio, I bet you I'll find another copy in the garage. Cause I really like that book. And I'm, I'm really kind of shocked. Beverly and I have been talking about this. I've sort of, yeah, that's just not what turns me on anymore. So, and what we don't want is things hanging around that used to turn you on that really don't anymore, right? I think that can like, you know, harsher vibe, right? All right, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Put in the comments, like these books, is there one you're like, what? Why are you giving that book away? Or like, why the heck did you get that book in the first place? Again, sometimes, you know, you get things because they're the best thing there that day. Whether it's clothes, tchotchkes, anything, you know, when you're a thrifter and, you know, you go to garage sales and yard sales and all that kind of stuff and book sales, thrift sales, antique stores. So that's something that I've learned now. And like, if this really makes me happy and it's something I feel good in or it makes me smile, it reminds me of something, then yeah, maybe. But otherwise, right now that'd be pretty special so all right guys take care and i will be back with some more books